AirDrop is probably the easiest way to send any type of file from one Apple device to another. So it works between iPhones, it works between iPhones and iPads, and it also works between iPhones and Mac devices. Basically anything Apple makes you could use to send files from one device to another using AirDrop. So I'm gonna show you exactly how to use it in this video. And what's great about it is you don't actually have to have Wi-Fi here, so you could do this on the go. It's gonna use Bluetooth. So the very first thing you need to do is you need to go to command center on both devices and turn on Wi-Fi and you also need to turn on Bluetooth. These two have to be on, even though it's not using Wi-Fi, it still has to be activated, this has to be blue. So do this, if you have an old iPhone, you could go to the settings menu here and make sure Wi-Fi and Bluetooth are turned on from this menu over here. The second step is while you're here, what you need to do is press and hold right here and it's gonna give you this menu here where you could actually change the airdrop setting if you press and hold on it. So by default, I always have it on contact only. But if you just met someone and you want them to send you something with airdrop, make sure you go ahead and turn on everyone here, but turn it back off later because you don't want everybody to be able to send you that. And you could always deactivate it completely by turning receiving to off here on this page. And now it's all set. You would do the same thing on your iPad or iPod Touch, for example. Now, if I wanna send something, this is how easy it is. And you could send anything. You could send notes, you could send website URLs, you could send pictures. Let's say I wanted to send this video here. I just have to press the share option right here, press that. And then it's going to basically give you this menu and it's gonna say two airdrop items are nearby. If I press this right here, it's gonna actually find the people that have AirDrop activated near me. So as long as they're in Bluetooth range, they will show up over here. So my iMac is obviously next to me, my iPad is next to me, and my MacBook is next to me. It's not finding this older iPhone here, so let me show you what you have to do if it doesn't find a device like this. Some older devices actually might have this turned off, so I gotta make sure I turn this to everyone also to make sure this could talk to each other. And there it is, this iPhone just appeared over here. So now I could go ahead and press it and it's gonna send this video from here to here. And you could see a lot of times if you're not using your own device, you will get a pop-up. So this is one person talking to another person, you will have to press accept. With your own devices, it automatically takes care of it. And it will appear in whatever app you use to send this. So in the photo app, it went from this photo app to this photo app. It's still here. It's just copying it over to this device now. And if you wanted to share like a, a website like this, you still have a share option in lots of different apps that let you airdrop websites, for example. So same thing. If I press this option, this phone is going to get that website. If I press it, Safari is going to open up and it's going to land on that website here. And it's really that easy to use AirDrop to send things from one Apple device to another Apple device. I hope you found this video useful. Please give it a thumbs up and I will see you next time.